Welcome to the Miss Idaho USA 2020 vlog. I'm gonna be taking you guys behind the scenes to show you what it really looks like to be a Miss Idaho USA contestant. Today was an optional rehearsal for the contestants, so not everybody had to show up. It's just if you want to learn the stage patterns and the dance numbers before tomorrow so you can feel a little bit more prepared tomorrow because there's a lot going on when you arrive for pageant weekend. The girls are thinking of lots of things. There's always going to be nerves. So this is just something that we do so that the contestants can feel a little bit more prepared and it makes rehearsals go by a lot quicker tomorrow. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notifications button and follow me on social media at Danny Walker. If you already do and you've been following along, then you will have seen some really cool Instagram stories and lives that I've been doing throughout this weekend. And if not, no worries, just follow me and then in the future you guys can check out even more behind the scenes on my Instagram. Let's get to it. I got really excited and forgot my words because of this cookie. So this is a crumble cookie. We are celebrating Caitlin's birthday. She's one of the contestants and we just got this bakery in Billings and I haven't been able to stop by yet to try them. I'm so excited. I'm gonna take a bite. Oh, it's straight sugar. You only need like a bite of this. I'm gonna take more anyways. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming because I wanna eat some of that go, cookie. Go for it. Oh my God. That's ridiculous. Good. So, so good. good. If you're watching on a mobile device, please screenshot this episode, post it in an Instagram story, and tag me at Danny Walker to let me know what you think. It's day two, the girls have already checked in and they've been in rehearsals all day learning all the choreography for the final show and what's gonna happen when the top five gets announced and special awards, all those things are going on today. And they're just about to wrap that up. And then next is interview. loving this episode and want to check out more you can click the link right up here in the corner and it'll link you to my last vlog at Miss Montana USA 2020. Where are we Vic? I don't know Danny but uh, let's go. <laughs> Apparently we're in an ice machine. Okay let's go. I'm here with Danny Walker and I am Vic Chopra. We're going to hunt beauty queen. Whispering. <laughs> it's an interview. Okay. This is the moment where the judges will meet the contestants. All right. Oh, there's puppies! I there's, sorry! This is the best blessing of my day. Oh my! 
babies. <laughs> I can't actually tell because you're a little baby. I was hoping you would have at least one out so I could be like a mom, two mom. It's easier when they have certain teeth out. Cute. 24 weeks is when his canine should generally be all the way in. Thanks for letting me practice. Of course. My things I'm just learning in class. <laughs> Give her a kiss. He could be a therapy dog for all the girls right now. I am not ready to pageant. She might, she may have gotten me sick, but I have to go pretend to be Shelby now. So. You smell great, Shelby. I do. Hi, Paul. This is so your judges now. If you're not in the top five, oh. 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 it's a very wide angle. We're judging right now. Like, it's fake. very serious. So, big deal. What's going on? Big deal. They're doing final looks. Woohoo! Yay! Yeah. Tens for everyone. Woo! Cassie got ready today. By the way, she was Miss Idaho yeah. USA. Y'all, she's been in other vlogs. If you have been around for a while, <laughs> so if you're an OG Danny Walker. Was it the first time we that shared I came room? Yeah, did I love a shower? Because yeah. you spoke totally at totally my pageant. <laughs> Comment below if you want us to shower vlog again. <laughs> Who is that model? stunning creature over there? Oh my oh goodness. My Let me tell you. After wow. she won, I saw her from like when she was crowned to like when she gave it up. I'm like, Taya, we're talking about you. Okay. Look who it is. Look at my sister. Hi. Hi. Taya, beautiful, gorgeous Miss Idaho USA 2018. I just got a new serious job. <gasps> Wait, doing what? Well, is I thought I was so dressed in the today? dressing room. But now I'm doing lighting. Oh, oh yeah, that's what? what they had me do. It's so funny. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous. It's your do you fault have if they're in the dark. You're having a test. You literally just like never leave them in the dark. You're doing great, Taya. You're, You're doing queen. amazing, sweetie. We love you. Danny Walker, ladies and gentlemen, Danny Walker. Did not shave my legs for this show. No, nope. got a razor though. I'm getting it done. Okay, it's gonna be good. Danny Walker always gets it done. I'm gonna tan them too a little bit. It's gonna look so good on stage. Okay. So good. Yes. I. Yes. Prelims are over, and we're just about to open the doors for finals. The contestants are probably a little bit nervous over there, but I'm feeling pretty great. I gotta go on stage and sing. Oh, who's coming in? Oh, hi. You look like such a host right now. I was about to say, like, I know I do. Don't my I? handsome co-host is joining hi. us today. Yes, I do. We could be co-hosts. We totally could easily. Y'all would love it. Well, we might be co-hosting your next vlog. Well, we are. We're directing, producing. I don't know. Editing. What editing. I don't know all the other words we could use. Yeah, I think that's about it for right now. Stay tuned for our Miss Washington USA vlog. We have yeah. something a little bit special for y'all. It'll be exciting. It's gonna be a really good um, new, new twist, like a new take 
on our vlogs. For Definitely matches. something you've never seen on Danny's vlog before. Yep. Yeah. It's gonna be a good <laughs> <It'll> time. Be good. <laughs> Is there anyone here that would like to lead everyone in prayer before things begin? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. So hold hands if you want, or shoulders, or um, if this is something you don't want to participate in, just close your eyes. To whatever being, spirit, God, you truly believe in, we pray and thank you that we have gone to be here this weekend, and that we have gone to love and be with one another as we prepared ourselves for this moment. And we pray that whoever wins will be able to do so with humility and grace and that we will all be able to be connected with one another and truly have the best interest of each other at heart. And we thank you so. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're great. We know it. And now we're going to show it. We're great. We know it. And now we're going to show it. Danny, aren't you glad you're not in the judge's shoes? Or maybe you would like to be. I actually love to judge pageants. So I think you guys are having a great night tonight. I hope you are. What do you think is the toughest thing they have to consider today? I think it's important to think about the two title holders that we're sending to Miss Teen USA and Miss USA, that these young women are going to be self-sufficient and themselves. I think it's so important to see authenticity on stage for these young women to be able to articulate their thoughts and to have poise under pressure. And it's far from here. America's future. What can your generation do here in Idaho to make a positive difference for our future? I think just interacting with other people positively and being kind to everyone that you meet and just making every interaction that you have with someone memorable and I think that would make the biggest impact. What is the most valuable lesson you have learned while preparing for this pageant? The most valuable lesson I've learned from preparing for this pageant is definitely to just be unapologetically my beautiful self. I learned that if you aren't yourself, then you truly will never be happy. So that is the most valuable lesson I've learned. Will you share with us the accomplishment that you are most proud of and tell us why? Yes, my proudest accomplishment is being able to bring others together. 
As sophomore class president last year, I had the opportunity to work on a homecoming float with my school. I decided to break the normality of just having the council members be part of it, and I invited anybody who wanted to do it. We ran out of candy, there were so many of us. I remember getting off the float and high-fiving kids along the road, and looking back and seeing everyone high-fiving along with me. I know what it feels like to be excluded, and I think any time as a leader we can involve others, and that's a huge accomplishment. What, in your opinion, is the biggest problem facing our teens today? I think the biggest problem facing teens today is vaping. You know, one in five middle schoolers have already vaped, and I think that's such an issue, especially when they grow up and they're trying to be, you know, the best version of themselves, and they can't do that because they're facing the consequences of themselves when they were younger. The modeling industry has more of a negative or positive impact on young women? I think that's a good question because in my opinion, and I think everyone's opinion, or like should be, I should just uh, lean that way, I think it should by far have a positive impact because it's not really like models showing like what you don't have, it's like kind of showing like not really what to strive for, but like what like a, like a role model, I guess, in life. It's like, wow, that's something amazing, and I want to strive to be amazing as well, whether it's in modeling or like different aspects of your life. I think it's just like something to really look up to. What does it mean to you to be ethical? To me, being ethical means following your own beliefs and going through with it without explaining. Um, being ethical to me also means that taking others into consideration with everything you do. With the growing concern over vaping, should the government step in and ban certain products? As a research regulatory coordinator, when we have pharmaceutical drugs that are having its first reactions for our patients, we discontinue those studies. So I absolutely think that we need to ban vaping. And if the federal government doesn't want to step in, then maybe the state of Idaho should. Don't hate me, I'm a journalist. My question, with today's heated political climate, what would you do to spread inclusion around the state of Idaho if you were to win? I think just talking about how much it is, how important it is to embrace everybody for what makes them unique. You know, there's so many things that people have no control over, like their skin color, where they're born, what gender they are born as. But these are things that we use to define each other. We judge each other based on these characteristics. But I think by speaking about how, you know what, focus on things you people have control over, like their actions and their character, and use that and think about that in other people, how you treat yourself, how you treat others, and use that to promote, promote inclusion among everybody so that we can just become a very united state of America, not divided. Anyway. What is the most recent news story that captured your attention and why? The most recent news story that has captured my attention has definitely been within our community with the recent election coming up this next month with the mayor. There are so many great candidates and all of them, or a majority of them, are women. And that is so empowering to stand up on this stage and represent that woman here on the Miss Idaho USA stage tonight. Thank you. So your question is, what do you think is our nation's biggest flaw? At this time, I think that our nation's biggest flaw is not addressing critical issues that are facing society. For example, by 2050, we're going to have to feed about 20 billion people, and we are not making steps in, to address this. We are, we are running out of arable land, and we are running out of resources in order to address the growing population. So I believe that as a nation, we should be working towards solving critical issues like this that will affect our generation and the effects and after us. That's it. Follow, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram, and uh, follow Tyler on Instagram. Um, also, be sure to see her in action singing. It was oh, come great. to Washington. I'm singing. It's my state. Yes. Yeah, it's your state, too. This land is your land. This 
Iceland is my own Something, something. I don't know lyrics. I'm really bad at lyrics. Don't all go on songs, that game Except show Happy then. Birthday. <laughs> and the alphabet. So that's an important one. Okay, bye!